in IEM. He's been in a lot of uh, yeah. tournaments, but Lissandro. I mean, the thing is, you, I guess you can't really take it for granted because it's um, it's um, you know, Lissandro doesn't really actually have yeah. that many data values. That's so. true. Not, not enough data available. So, speaking of Golden, he's playing for Alien Invasion down here in the bottom location on Polar Night, and in the top will have Lissandro for Love Your Girlfriend. God, I love their logo. Damn it. I mean, it almost it almost looks like a tattoo. Isn't you know, it seductive? Like... Yeah, it is. Makes me want to <laughs> touch my screen or something. Or worse <laughs> yet, touch myself. That's like so it's, good. Um, I, I really like it. I think it's one of the most intricate logos uh -huh. around. It's, um, it's really nice to look at. Alien Great. Invasion logo. You know what? I'd like to say the Alien Invasion logo got on the list of the worst logos on Team Liquid, and I was like, you know, <laughs> I don't, I don't really think it is. Like, it, it's the team's called Alien Invasion. And they've got a picture of some aliens. It's simple. It's distinguishable. It's a single color. Yeah, like, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to be the meanie here right now, but I kind of have to agree with the Team Liquid <laughs> results of that of that poll. Really? I, I, I never liked the logo. It's like it blends in way too much. I mean the purple is way too close to to uh, black. I mean and if it had an outline then yeah it's fine but as long as you put it on a on a uh, black background you just don't see it. That's you know that's mistake number one as far as logo design goes. Uh, so I if well, they put I'm a light outline, that would that would help tremendously. I think it looks fine. Uh, you're it's such fine. a good person, Wardy. Not really. I just don't have. <laughs> I just you just don't have any issues just, with the logo. No, I right? just I just don't think that deeply into it, really. So I do. It's kind of like um like a habit that I picked up uh, at the university back when I was studying management because we were. Uh, sometimes tasked with creating stuff like this and we were bullied to no extent by um, uh, by our uh, professors you know who actually do this for a living like promotion stuff PR uh, stuff like that so um, they kind of drill that into you and from that point on you can, you everywhere I go every single event I don't see like the podium and what's going on I see what's going behind the podium. <laughs> like instinctively, I, I just focus on this. So a couple of lanes are running past here uh, from Golden. They're going to well. Okay, okay. Can we get a comes yeah. on this pylon? Probably. Which is, uh, which is nice. So he's going to be able to keep them alive as well. Good control there. So this is annoying. It delays the wall a little bit. And you know, if he, it would be really good if he was going for some kind of big uh, link flood right now with the wall delayed. But he's not. He's just uh, starting his speed and playing a nice macro game, getting his draw and counter up. So, you know, just nice to delay this wall just a little bit, but it's nothing too major, and it shouldn't bother Lissandro too much at all. No, I don't think so. Um, as you as you stated, basically it only delays your wall. Um, the Nexus is coming up, and uh, I wonder what the follow-up from uh, Golden is going to be. He pulled all of his drones off gas once he got a little over a 100 gas here for uh, the... Metabolic boost, so I assume he's going to be taking a third base while drawing a satanistic symbol on the ground. Excuse me, a witch symbol on the ground. Satanistic symbol is a little bit different. Uh, but, on Lissandro's side of things, we have a Twilight Council that's been placed in, well, not the very best of locations here. Very easily scoutable by this overlord overhead. Yeah, this overlord, I mean, it's obviously going to be a bit scared because of the stalker, but I mean, it literally needs to move forward about two steps and back again to see this mm -hmm. uh, Twilight Council. He initially placed it a little bit closer into his base, but, but I suppose he didn't want to do that. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens with him right now. We have a lot of lings on the map for uh, Golden, just moving around, checking for pylons, being going to be able to shut down any early aggression. And, I mean, coming out of this Twilight Council is Blink. So yep. we're going to see just a big blink attack, I assume. I mean, without a forge, it's very unlikely he's going to take this into a later part of the game. Yeah, definitely. And without a forge, it's also going to be a little bit weaker uh, than, yeah. you know, than, you know a, a proper 8-gate or 7-gate blink uh, with well, plus 2. You know, it's, it's going to hit a little bit faster, but yeah. it's going to not pack as much of a punch. Yeah, but, but, the, you know, but the thing in this... Uh, early. 
The thing in, in this situation, if you go for such a quick attack, you're going to have much less units. And with, with the number of speedlings that are out here on the map, they could pick off a stalker or two, so the Protoss army will have to grow first and then move out. Uh, the second thing is that there are no proxy columns out on the map anywhere, as Golden has done a pretty good job of scouting for those. Yeah, continuing to move around here, he's also adding on a Voltron, making some more Zerglings too. I really like this. He's playing very safe. He's only going up to about 46 workers here. His, uh, you know, his Overlord still hasn't spotted that Twilight Council, and Blink is about to finish. And this uh, first army for Lissandra is moving across the map here. So how quickly is Golden going to spot this? Because he's moving his Lings around, but these units, they're just staying out of range of the Watchtower. Yep, and now, now he, he sees, sees them. them. Now he sees the them. eight roaches the... are already made. Yeah, so you already mean, kind of... He wasn't, he wasn't making going. anything uh, apart from units for the past two minutes, so that's like three whole larva injects. That's a lot of links and roaches he's going to have. He already has Forces 26 links. Forces of back to home with uh, a little bit of a run by. Forces of Sentry Dwarfing is always going to be annoying. That's a sentry that's not with the army. It's gas, which isn't put into stalkers. And we have a lot of roaches starting to come out here. A bit of a supply block for Golden, which uh -huh. uh, maybe it hurts him a little bit because it stopped him from producing for a little while here. But it's not the worst supply block we've ever seen, and, well, these stalkers waste a blink on uh, these links. Yeah, uh, and as we said before, the links might have... Oh, <coughs> he actually gets it with one more link. Nice, uh, nice touch there. Uh, but still, Golden is going to need a lot of roaches, so essentially with these speedlings, he's just buying time right now. Without sentries, this push uh, will be a lot weaker, but still, don't underestimate the power of blink, keeping those stalkers alive for such a long time. And there we go, uh, the links are coming this, in from links the back. From behind. These links from behind are able to just gnaw away at the stalkers, which were blinking away to safety. And you know that's not how you really want things to go. And I think you know Golden's just played this out so brilliantly. A reinforcement of links is going to get us around on these stalkers, and they're all on such low HP. They're going to die very, very quickly. A few drones are being pulled, but I don't really think he he really needs it. Uh, I kind of think he does. To, to be really? quite honest, because those shields have you seen will. The army that's like, yeah, that's, that's I, I, I have, I have. But just to be safe, you know, he does not know how many units are coming in. Uh, uh, not with that, without the vision of that overlord there. He's going for the wraparound with the links right now, and he's going to either force a blink or prevent a retreat. And you know, against this many speed links with so low stalker numbers, you can't really get away. Yeah, well, he's uh, going to make it out. He only loses a couple of stalkers, but, you know, he takes a lot of damage in doing so. And he now starts up a forge back at home. He's going to start looking for his transition out of this, but he stands without having done any damage. You know, he's upgradeless. He's mm -hmm. not really on a decent work account. He's got a Twilight Council, which isn't the best kind of tech yep. to go into by any means. And, well, I mean, Golden, he's going to up the pressure. Here. He's just starting his lair now, so he hasn't had a lair for quite a long time here. Yeah, he because really he was there. dumping all of his gas into... Roaches, and but but I really like his decision making. As soon as he repelled the attack, immediately what showed up on the production tab was lair and uh, drones. So he's going to heavily saturate his uh, third base very quickly here. He's going to control the map, make sure that there is no third base coming out of the Protoss player. Tries to scout as well, uh, doesn't get too much done there. And he'll be keep an, keeping an eye out here for the third base. Meanwhile, he just gets Glow Reconstitution. He knows there is no tech so far for uh, the Protoss player. And uh, he's very limited in uh, terms of options, in terms of what he can do. So he doesn't need the Hydralisks actually right now. Uh, and he may go for a three base, sort of like either a timing or maybe even an all in. Now that I look at it, this free third base for uh, Lissandra is going to be tonight. Uh, units there are going to kill off the probe, which moved over to make it. And well, it looks as though uh, Lissandra is going to try and make something happen a blink into the main base. And this is something that Golden is definitely not expecting. Yeah. How much damage can it do, though? I mean, he's going to get a queen if he wants it. And uh, I mean, if, know, he, if he can there? get the lair, that would be huge because that would delay the tech from Golden so much. He doesn't have any lair tech so far. But unfortunately. Going to though. No, not yeah. enough firepower for that to do yes, that. Guess what's written on the low ground for uh, his opponent when he blinks wow. out? He actually recalls. I mean, just didn't do anything. Killed one single queen, which isn't really what he was aiming to achieve. And now road speed finishes for Golden, so he's going to be able to move across the map very quickly, and just stay outside of his opponent's base, get ready for him to move out, and just stop him taking a third, and continue <laughs> to get ahead in this game. Yeah, look at the train of yellow marching across the map with the Glow Reconstitution and plus one finishing. He, this is going to be just so much firepower here for Golden. And we only have four sentries with the Protoss army. He can't really withstand this uh, this pressure once the uh, flank comes in from the left. And it does 
full surround on the Protoss army. All the force fields expended right now, and this is just GG.